Hello everybody, in this chapter we will add a few things in our IBL shadow shader to make it compatible with the graphics API of OpenGL ES2 to be able to run on iOS devices. So to do that I have created a duplicate copy of IBL shadow shader and I have renamed it as IBL shadow underscore GLSL. After I open it in mono develop I add underscore GLSL in the name to differentiate or to tell that this shader is compatible with OpenGL ES2 graphics API. So there are few function changes that we will be doing in this shader. And the first thing that we will have to do is when we have the shadow mode on, we are creating a sampler 2D and what OpenGL ES2 requires is a sampler 2D shadow for the shadow map texture. So what we will do is we will use hash if defined shader target GLSL. If this shader is running on GLSL graphics API, then do this, else do this, and then end if. We will cut this line, we will paste it here, and we will just add shadow in front of it. And in the else, we will paste this line. So this is one of the changes that OpenGL ES requires to create a shadow map. And second thing, we can make one optimization change that we can combine this condition into one. So this is not required for OpenGL ES2, but I noticed this optimization and we want to optimize all our shaders. So third thing that we will do is when we have our shadow map on and we are reading the shadow map texture. In order to read the shadow map texture, we will be using a different function, which is shadow 2D instead of texture 2D. So let's make the same change here as well, hash if defined shader underscore target underscore GLSL. Then do something else, do this and if. In the else, we will put this command. In the if, we will just add shadow 2D and this returns only one channel which is just the float variable and we will store it inside a float variable. Float shadow is equals to and we will do the same thing here. So we are creating a float variable and we are multiplying it with the RGB. We can directly multiply it with the final color, but just for the simplicity sake, we have created a float variable. Now we can take this complete block of code from here and paste it here. So we are almost there, we would just have to make one more change. So we have used a different shadow 2D function and we will have to calculate the shadow coordinates for this function differently than we calculated it for texture 2D. So what we will do for that is in the vertex shader where we are calculating the shadow coordinates here we will use another preprocessor macro which is hash if defined unity underscore no underscore screen space shadows else and if. 
and the reason is editor use cascading shadows and the mobile platform does not so that is why we will store our shadow coordinates differently in this case so we would say o dot shadow chord is equals to we will multiply our world position of the vertices with a matrix which is unity underscore world to shadow 